Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1,263 of our trek and time for our Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. As we continue on this trek that we call life, sometimes we have questions about life. So our Friday trek is a time where we can ask Gramps. Gramps will answer the questions you would like to ask your dad or granddad, but for whatever reason, this is not possible. No matter how old we are, I know that all of us would like the opportunity to ask dad or Gramps questions about life in many areas. We may mix it up a bit on our Friday episodes, but we'll strive to keep them down to earth and enjoyable. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Gramps, please email them to guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. So the question for this week is, Hey Gramps, I know that I should have self-control, but sometimes family members, friends, and work associates really get on my nerves, and I end up saying harsh words to them, which I probably shouldn't. What wise tips do you have to help me to overcome these negative character traits? So today we'll look at what's in your cup. First of all, You must accept full and total responsibility for your actions and reactions when you are dealing with other people. Yes, I understand that other people may irritate you and at times make you angry, but you are not responsible for how they treat you, only for how you respond to others. Our actions and reactions are based on what we allow to permeate our minds. I recently came across this analogy online that really best describes what I mean. So let me tell you this brief story and see if you agree. Let's say that you are at the office or even at home and you are holding a full cup of hot coffee in your hands and someone comes along and bumps you in or shakes your arm making you spill coffee everywhere, including on yourself. Let me ask you, why did you spill the coffee? And you might respond, because someone bumped into me. No, I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. You spilled the coffee because there was coffee in your cup. Had it been tea in your cup, you would have spilled tea. If it would have been a cup of chocolate milk, you would have spilled chocolate milk. Do you know why this is? Because whatever is inside your cup is what will spill out. In the same manner, when life comes along and shakes you, and it will happen, whatever is inside you will come out. It's easy to fake it until you get really rattled. Then whatever is inside you will come sloshing out, spilling on whoever is near you and all over yourself. So I have to ask you, what is in your cup? When life gets tough, what spills over? Is it joy, gratefulness, peace, and humility? Or is it anger, bitterness, harsh words, and reactions? You have to realize this important point. Life provides the cup but it is up to you how you choose to fill it. Today, let's work at filling our cups with gratitude, forgiveness, joy, words of affirmation, and kindness, also with gentleness and love for others. The Bible tells us what happens with our cup, which is referred to as a heart in this passage, and it depends on what we fill our cups with. And this is Matthew chapter 12, verses 33 through 37. A tree is identified by its fruit. If a tree is good, its fruit will be good. If a tree is bad, its fruit will be bad. You brood of snakes, how could evil men like you speak of what is good and right? For whatever is in your heart determines what you say. A good person produces good things from a treasury of a good heart, and an evil person produces evil things from a treasury of an evil heart. And I tell you this, you must give an account on Judgment Day for every idle word you speak. The words you say will either acquit you or condemn you. So the next time you are ready to unload negativity on someone else, think about this analogy and this verse. Fill your cup and heart with that which is good. And that's a wrap for today's question. Join us again next Friday for another question on our Ask Gramps episode. Our next truck will be Meditation Monday, 
where we will help you to reflect on what is most important in life. So I encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,262 daily treks or read the associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.